the new trinity monster the revenge it's um this is a 17.5 part number tp1502 17.5 tm monster horsepower looking at the specification for the new monster horsepower the revenge it uh, says monster horsepower series is all new aluminium based sensor board for true sensor alignment 2mm copper tabs thermal stator coating for the best heat dissipation possible new rotor design which is a benefit for RPM and torque turbine style vented nose and new 220 degree C wire coating all those things uh, will give an improvement so um, looks like the motor is going to be um, a better motor than the 24k that went before it as you can see it comes in the same style box as the previous 24k which was REV 1802 17.52 um, now this is supposed to have an improved sensor board we know that the Trinity's BevTech Generally the sensor boards are all over the place, can be up to 10 degrees, I've seen even 12 degrees out between an A, B and C. Uh, these are supposed to have new improved sensor boards. You can see it's got a little window now. And what I'm going to do is compare it. Green. M bell, very similar to the gold one. Compare it to the gold one and see how the performance stacks up the weight 162 grams compare it to the 24k 17.5 162 grams quick look at the appearance of the new monster before we test it, it's um, very similar to the 24K in the construction. It's obviously made by the same company. Um, the uh, stator looks the same, same color, looks about the same size. Um, you can see the rotor. I'll take the rotor out later. Um, the, the end. They put three screws in the end to try and improve the uh, rigidity. Uh, I know with these two screws on here, you can actually, when you tighten this up, it, it, it can move around a bit and affect the timing just a little bit. So the three screws are going to hold it on more accurately. And the tabs, um, these have got deep cutouts in there, which may make it easier to solder, get the wire in there and solder it on, rather than just rest it on the top of these this one which is um, more difficult um, otherwise uh, these markings are the same you can see that the uh, design these cutouts and that obviously done by the same company the motor has supplied is set about um, on the end bell it looks like about 50 degrees but uh, it's given you quite a low performance only drawing 2.8 amps and the low KV so if you're going to run um, boosted that'd be fine in uh, blinky mode that's going to be way off performance so I'm just going to set it up to um, an optimal point which is about 6 amps and see what the time in uh, end bell how improved it is after adjusting the end bell to give a reading of 6 amps we've got the KV of 3349 um, the revs are, are high, but so is the input voltage. It's the KV, which is revs per volt that you're after at, at amps. Now I can just test the um, the timing and the M bell. And this is supposed to be one of the features of this motor. It's supposed to have a much better sensor board with much closer matched ABC sensors. So let's see what it comes out to. Fifty one degrees, fifty three, fifty, fifty one.
Well, it's it's not spot on, but it is better than the previous gold. It'd be interesting to see when we test the gold uh, what the spread is. So it's tightened up the spread. Um, plus or minus one is great. This is uh, got a three degrees out. Um, it's also 51 degrees timing. Um, a good motor would normally be 49, but um, it's got a good KV. The M belt. The actual physical timing looks about 55 degrees as set, and we to get to 51 degrees actual. I've set the 24k 17.5 turn to exactly 6 amps. Uh, the KV is only now 3039 on this one, um, and the revs are uh, lower equivalently. Um, so let's have a look at the timing. Fifty degrees average and the spread. See forty-seven, fifty-four, forty-eight. So it's the old um, sensor board is all over the place. Seven degrees out between the highest and the lowest, and the average is fifty. So the new monster uh, is looking pretty good. The Embel indication is nearly sixty. When we've only got 50 degrees actual, so the M bell calibration is way out if you're trying to set it just using these marks. I've taken the two motors completely apart to see what the differences are, and the monster has some clear uh, differences and improvements. Um, you can see obviously now that the rotors are different and uh, they do have different numbers on them. This is a TEP uh, 1112 and this one has written on it, you can't see it, but it says uh, TEP 1118. So I'll measure the strength of them in a minute. Other differences are that's the um, gold sensor board it's held in place by this um, sort of plastic ring to hold it steady whereas the new one now has this metal all in one metal piece and also interestingly it's got ABC written on it now so it's uh, an updated version of that one Other differences now the stators looking inside there's quite a difference. This one has a plastic form, a red plastic former to help keep the wires in position. Uh, this one that former's cut right back and you, you can't see it at either end now, whereas this one you can see the red. Also, there seems there seems to be some uh, epoxy, some sort of white epoxy being coated onto the surface of the uh, laminations, and uh, these heavy-duty rings have also now been riveted to the, uh, the little former plastic or whatever that's made of that goes round. Whereas this one, it had little pips which do come loose. The other end, this ring seems to be the same, it's got 17.5 stamped on it. And the termination of the wires under here seems to be about the same. The weight, I have weighed them and uh, Looking at them, I would say the black one looks like it's got one lamination less. Uh, the depth from there to there, I haven't put the calipers on it, but just by eye, it looks about one less. Anyway, the gold one weighs 112 grams, and the monster one weighs also 112 grams. So, whatever the difference is, it's tiny. As far as the stator goes, I can measure the. Um, 
the wire resistance as well. So there's a few differences there. I would say they were all the improvements. Let's do the one from the gold motor first. Let's put this sort of torque turquoise colour on it. It's the TP1112. I'll just take some of those washers off so we don't lose them all. Uh, just drop it in there. 1448. Let's do the other pole. 1445. So uh, quite nicely matched. The uh, rotor, the green monster one, it's black with balance and green epoxy balancing on it. Let's take those shims off. Let's pop it in. 1400 only. 1402. So it's actually a, a weaker rotor than the other one. That would account for higher revs. Nicely made though with the uh, positive and negative almost identical. But um, a noticeable uh, decrease in Gauss. So the RevTech uh, Gold one is going to have uh, a bit more strength in the uh, Gauss and acceleration. And this one's going to be a bit more revy. Measuring the wire resistance, 0 0.043 ohms on the gold. So it's 0 0.041 for the monsters. So that's excellent if that is a real accurate reading. Let's just try on another pole, 0 0.041, yep. Um, which means they're using uh, nice tightly wound wires. Let's just double check the uh, gold one and another pole. Two, four, three. Yeah, so um, they're using much uh, tighter or better wire on the Monster compared to the Gold and the lower the resistance the better. I mean higher efficiency, less heat loss and um, better performance. Just checking stator length on the Gold we've got Near enough, nineteen point five seven, and on the monster, nineteen point four nine. So there's obviously one lamination at least uh, less. Diameter of the uh, rotors, if I can get it on there. 12.47 on the 24k and it's around about 12.25 so smaller diameter rotor conclusions well the monster is um, better made uh, than the RevTech. It's got. Uh, it looks like it's had more attention to detail, the, the sensor board, uh, the windings, the way that this is um, riveted. But uh, you can't compare them exactly because they've got different rotors in them. Uh, the 24K is a stronger rotor, 14 about 1450 Gauss. And this is only 1400 gauss and it's smaller diameter means it's going to be a revier motor and this should have more torque. Um, I've got the results here uh, and it's uh, there's the monster it's very revvy 3349. How does that compare to others? Well 
up here is um, well I think the class lead of the Phantom that has got uh, 3471 kV at the 6 amps so it's still revier um, but it's got a weaker rotor again only about 1350 gauss if you change the rotor on the RevTech sorry on the Phantom to around about 1400 12.3 millimeter it gives about the same kV as the Trinity Monster so I'd say uh, they're both really good motors I haven't tested the uh, these Trinity ones on the dyno and got various readings I don't think it's that necessary at this point weight wise 162 grams for the Trinity and the RevTech 165 grams for the Phantom so again they're pretty close and I would say that this Trinity Monster is going to be um, a good motor. Uh, it's going to be competing well with the Phantom, the M. And there's, uh, the Reedy one as well came out very good on this chart. But, so overall, well it's a different motor to the previous one, like the, the RevTech. But it is an improvement I would say they've tightened up the sensor board some sensor boards come out pretty close but within normally plus or minus one's good that one's three degrees out and this is um, three degrees out so it's as good as the, as the best Just as an experiment, I decided to rebuild the monster with the rotor from the 24K, which was the TEP treble one two rotor, which has got a stronger gauss, just to see what happened. And uh, as you can see, the revs has gone down a little bit. I mean, the KV three treble two, but it sounds actually much better. It accelerates quicker, and uh, I'm pretty sure this rotor. Uh, will get better performance in this uh, monster than the uh, lower gauss one that it comes with and the timing um, I've shimmed it properly to the uh, center board as well so that uh, which normally improves the timing so just uh, do that okay it's 50 degrees uh, timing and uh, we've got 48 to 51, so three, still a 3 degree spread, so uh, it's about the best we're going to get out that timing. But looking at the, I didn't adjust the M bell uh, at all, I'm looking at the results from these uh, tests, that's with the, uh, as the monster came with the lower Gauss rotor, it's only 12.25. Now using the optional the rotor from the 24k which is a a much stronger rotor it's, i think it's supposed to be 12.45 millimeters um although the revs has dropped the kv has dropped a bit um the strength of that magnet i think will get, give a better performance more torque and uh that would be a preferred set uh, arrangement the rest of the Trinity Monster is good. I mean, the winding uh, is very good, and the whole construction of the motor is good. So, I think um, this motor is going to be better than the standard 24K. As you can see, it's more revs with the same rotor now.